With the update to version Kling 1.6, you can now choose from three different video creation functions in the Image to Video section after you have clicked on the AI Videos button on the Start page. Frames, Elements and Effects. Let's first discover the hidden possibilities of frames. Here you select a single image and then add camera settings to your prompt using the Get Inspirations feature. For example, you can use Camera Zooms In or Camera Zooms Out. The Elements section, on the other hand, is all about uploading several images and then transforming them into a completely new composition. Kling also offers the Get Inspirations feature here, but with a much wider range of options. For example, Camera, Shot Type, Light and Shadow, or Atmosphere. If you want to use them, simply click on them and insert them into the prompt area. As you will shortly see, the two features differ considerably from each other. I have used an identical image for both features. It is this colourful image with three people sitting at a table and talking to each other. Accordingly, I have created a short and precise prompt. If we now look at the result of frames, we notice that the implementation follows the intended image exactly. In addition, the people are moving and they talk to each other. If, on the other hand, we look at the result of elements, the result is surprisingly different. Although I use the same image and the same prompt, the result and the image aesthetics look like this. In elements, Kling expects several individual images to be stitched together. The result is, if you'll allow me this assessment, rather strange. Well, that was the difference. This means using frames for single images and elements for multiple images. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.